Hi, in this video, we will see how we can import data from a PDF file to our Excel file. This feature is a new addition to Excel and is only available in Excel 2021 or in Office 365. People using Excel 2019 or earlier versions cannot use this feature. If you are on earlier versions, you still need to copy paste manually and then format it step by step. But even if you are using older versions, I would suggest that you still see this video because this new feature is brilliant and it does the job of importing tables almost perfectly from a PDF file. So importing data tables from a PDF file is a very common business scenario. For example, suppose you are a finance manager and you may want to look at the balance sheet or a profit and loss statement of a company. You may want to analyze it in Excel. Often the documents are available in PDF format. And if you want to analyze the data in them, you want to import those tables into Excel and then do your calculations. Now doing that has become very easy. Let me show you how. So first, let me show you the PDF from which I'll be importing data. So the first file is this quarterly balance sheet report of the company Apple. And in this PDF file, I have this balance sheet. And the first table is of assets where we can see the current assets of the company. And there are two values, the quarter four last year value and quarter one current year value. So I want to get the data of this balance sheet. So let's say I want the data of current assets. That is the first table of this balance sheet into an Excel file so that I can do some calculations based on it. Let me show you how this is done. To import data from a PDF file, we go to the data tab. Here you have to click on get data from a file and select from PDF here. Now you will be asked to select your PDF file. So I'm selecting the PDF file, clicking on import. And now you can see that Excel is able to identify all the tables present in that PDF. So right now I had only one page and on that page we have these five tables. Even if we had multiple pages, even hundreds of pages, it can analyze all those hundred pages and the tables in those pages. So you will get a list of all the tables in your PDF on the left side of this navigator. Now let's see the table that we want to import. So the first table, which is of current assets, this is the one we want. Table two is for non-current assets and so on. So I have selected table one. Now there are three options. One is to load. So the data will be loaded in this format. But as you can see, this has some issues. Column two and column four has null values, which we do not want. Also, we may want to rename column three and column five to show that this is the value of quarter four last year. And this is the value of current quarter. So to do those transformations on this data, we will click on transform data button. Now this opens up a power query window. So if you do not know about power query or if you are listening about power query for the first time, do not worry. It's just a tool using which we can apply steps of transformations to the data. Excel will remember those steps. And whatever data is coming from the source, it will apply all those steps every time on that data and show us the transformed data only. What this means is, so for example, I want to remove column two and column four from the source data. So I select column two and column four and I go here and click on remove columns. You can see that a new step is added here. The step is of removing those two columns. Now, whenever we refresh data, 
and fetch that data again from the source, the data will again come with five columns, but column two and column four will be removed by this step and we will be able to see only these three columns in our final data. Similarly, we also want to rename column three. So right click on this column name, go to rename and write current quarter. This column five contains the values of quarter four last year. So we will rename it to Q4 last year, L Y. So you can see that there is one additional step of renaming columns. We have removed two columns and we have renamed two columns. With this, we can now load this data onto our sheet. So let's click on close and load. And you can see that the data from that PDF is imported in a clean tabular format into Excel. Now just imagine if you have to copy paste that data from PDF to Excel, how much of a hassle that would have been. You can easily apply all your formulas. For example, if you want to find the difference between cash value for this quarter and the last quarter, you can simply do this and you will get a new column with the difference values. You can rename this column also. And good thing about this is whenever this data refreshes, you will be able to see your calculations will also update automatically. So let me show you now how if the data changes at the source. For example, suppose we get a new PDF file containing the asset values of quarter two of this financial year. That is the new quarter. And we want to refresh this data and get those values. How can that be done? So it is very simple. Let us first go and change the source. So I was using this file earlier. Now I will take this file and drop it here and rename this file to the original file. So basically what I have done is I have replaced the first balance sheet with a new balance sheet and this balance sheet is of the new quarter. Now just look at any of these quarter values. This was the current quarter value as from the previous sheet. Now, if I go and refresh, so to do a refresh of this data, I have to go to table design and click on this refresh button. And you can see that the values have changed for the current quarter. The values for Q4 last year stays the same because that is what was available in the new balance sheet also. But the current quarter values have updated as per the new PDF file. So when the source data changes, you can refresh your data and all the calculations that you have done on this table, those will also be updated automatically. Now you can also set refresh settings. For example, the PDF file that you are getting, you get a new PDF file every week or every day and you want this table to automatically update itself whenever you get a new PDF file. So you can set those properties. You can click on connection properties here and you can select if you want to refresh this table every one hour or every 24 hours or every one week and so on. So that can be defined here. Right now I am refreshing it manually by clicking on this button. Another feature of importing from PDF file that I wanted to show you is sometimes the data that is available to us is available in multiple PDF pages. For example, suppose you wanted to analyze the employee salary in your company and you asked for the CTC data of your employees and you got this PDF containing the data of 80 employees of your company and has 
serial number of that employee, role, college, city type, CTC, and their experience. But this data is available in two pages. Now, when you import this data from this PDF file to your Excel file, it will be imported in the form of two different tables. You can use Power Query to append these two tables or you can do it manually also. But I'll show you one another way so that you can appreciate how much control Power Query is giving us while we are importing data from a PDF file into Excel. So let's go and first connect this file to our Excel file. So again, I'm going to this blank sheet, go to data, click on get data from file from a PDF file. Now you have to go and select the CTC data. Now that PDF had only two pages. So you see the option of those two pages and those tables on each page. So this is the first table and this is the second table. Now I want to get this data of these two tables in a single table. To do that, I will be first transforming this folder. So right click on this and click on transform data. Now in this Power Query window, you will see that you get the information of that PDF. That is that PDF has these two pages, these two tables with these names, their kind and the data in them. Now we only want the data from these two tables. So we will put this filter of having only tables. Next, we only want their data and not the information of their ID, names and kind. So I will be removing these three columns. Select the three columns, click on remove columns. I am left with only the data, which has the two tables. I can expand this data to see all the columns within this data. So to do that, I have clicked on this icon. It is showing me all the columns and I'll click on OK to get all the data columns. Again, let us see if everything is fine with the data imported. Firstly, we'll have to check if we are getting data of all AT employees. Yes, we are. Secondly, the header of this data, are they correct? So currently I'm having the headers as data.column1, data.column2, whereas the first row of my data contains the header names. So what I can do is I can go and click this option. Use first row as headers. If I do this, you can see that the first row, which was earlier shown as part of data has now become the header row. Then if we want to remove any column or rename any column or change the data type of any column that we can do. So I have shown you renaming. If you want to change the data type, you can click on this icon and select the data type also. If you want to remove any rows, you can use these option of keep rows or remove rows. With that, we are ready to load our data. So click on this close and load button. And you will see that the entire data, that is the two tables, are joined and are shown together. We are seeing the data of all the entity employees. We have the correct header names and the data is also formatted correctly. You can change formatting from here also. So if you want to change the format of CTC, you can select these cells, go to home and maybe put a dollar symbol here. So that can also be done. It is not that you cannot change the format once you have imported the data. Whatever changes you do to the imported data, whenever you refresh the data, those changes will automatically be applied. So that's all in this video. We saw how to import data from a PDF file. We also saw how to 
make some transformations using power query so that we get the data in desired format and lastly we also saw how to import multiple tables from a pdf file using power query so this is a brilliant feature and this can come in handy in business scenarios that's all in this video i'll see you in the next one